Here's a little uh, quick update of my colony. Starting off with my babies. I'm sorry the tank's dirty, but I cleaned it this morning and after a day's work, you know, this is what they do. All y'all know if you have a beardy, they do destroy the tanks a little bit fast. And 25 of them, or I'm sorry, 20 of them do a pretty quick job of it too. But the babies are doing well. Some of them are a little beady. The rest of them are pretty big. Now these guys right here, they're only uh, eight weeks old, and some of them are already 20 grams in, uh, in, in weight, and almost eight to nine inches long. But they're all very pretty. Tails look good. Coloring, they kind of look dull right now, it's because of all the calcium powder all over the place. Like you can see, he's a little lighter. But once they get, you know, have a nice little bath, they kind of warm up and they look a lot prettier. They're really, really bright orange. I do got a few of them that have nips, like that guy right there. That's so pretty. It's a shame. Another one back there. He's good. He's good. But um, yeah, that's the babies. They're doing good. Here's Sasha. Sasha's getting brighter and prettier every day. She's a pretty, pretty girl. I think she's starting to go into a little bit of a shed. I'm not sure because it's hard to tell because she does have that white tone on her, even though she's not when she's not in the shed. We got big man Zeus. Here's daddy to the babies that you've just seen. He's doing really well. Looking like a big boss. That's my big boy. This boy is so big. He's starting to go in a little bit of a shed. Look at that girthiness. Look at that big boy. Yeah. His legs and arms are shedding right now. I think they're starting to... He doesn't like it when I touch his legs. You don't like it when I touch his legs? You don't like it? You don't like it? You like it? You like it? No, no. Is that tickle? Is that tickle? <laughs> okay. And we got Prince. He's tucked away in the corner. I think he's starting to go into a little bit of a brumation. He's been backing off on all the feeding. He still eats his salads and stuff, but he's been really light on all his proteins. Stayed all away from supers and everything. I don't know why. But yeah, he still looks really good, but he's starting to lose a little bit of weight. It's kind of that brumation stage. Here comes Xerxes. Yeah, he's never going into brumation. This guy's a monster. He's uh, six months, six and a half months old almost, and he's 500 grams and 21 inches long. Look at that guy. That's a bad dunder, Roy. That is one beautiful dunder. Look at the size of that head. He's just magnificent. Would love to sit right next to his repti son. Get all that UV exposure. But yeah, he's gorgeous. Look at that. It's just getting beautiful and big and bulky. Look at the thickness on that tail. It's just long. Stormy down here. She's still going through a little bit of an R.I. But uh, she's actually done a lot better. She just purges now. She doesn't do the quack, luckily. So I think she's getting past it. We just got to put a little weight on her because she hasn't really eaten a lot since she's been sick. Next is Silas. He's doing really well. Looking big and red and beautiful. And then you got Blaze. Blaze is also from All About Beardies, where Silas came from. We got the two Maelstrom. These guys are my little uh, rescues that I got from Maelstrom Reptiles. Look at the size of this guy now. He's a girthy little guy. Tail on him. Look at that. Look at how dense that tail is. It's a big boy. And then Spud over here. Looking really nice. And then we got my buddy Poseidon. Super citrus blueback. He's gorgeous. I love that guy. And you got Puzzles over here. Puzzle was my little hypotrans with the kink in the tail. But the kink has actually kind of gone away a little more. He's looking really good. And you got Bamba. Bamba's his uh, big sister. She's in full body shed right now. Her head just finished shedding. She looks so beautiful. Michael Scale Trans. Oh, I'm sorry. Super Smooth Trans. Head Hypo. Then you got Stella. Stella's that beautiful orange from All About Beardies. She's gorgeous, getting fat and pretty, pretty, pretty. And then we got Mrs. Mirror Gold. She's gorgeous. Got a little poopy on her back foot. That's not cool. Just a big pooper, I'll tell you that. But she's getting pretty. Already at like, uh, I think she's 80 grams, something like that. Only five months old or so. 
Go downstairs real quick because I don't have much video time. Sorry for the darkness. We got a uh, food. Food's been looking really good lately, getting fatter. It's trying to go into like patches of shed. It's kind of crazy. But regardless, she's looking really, really good. And here's Lilu. Lilu's been doing really well. She started off like really scaring me because she wouldn't eat much and she wasn't growing much. She wouldn't even cross 120 grams. Now she's at 250, eating like a little monster. Oh, Zari. Zari's the mama to the dunner eggs that I have uh, incubating right now. I don't know what's going on with them today. They want to get out bad, I guess. Destroying all the pretty artwork I just did for them. I'm ungrateful. We got BB's in the corner back here. She's liking the little soft, cushiony pillow I gave him. Like, you'll be a little girl. It's about to be bedtime, so I think they're trying to find the, the little cool spot to go to. You got my buddy Toes, my Savannah monitor. He's actually doing really well. Funny story about him, he's actually calm now. You can actually handle him a lot more than he used to be handleable. So he actually, no, he doesn't try to kill me. <laughs> but yeah, he's a big, pretty boy. I think he's uh, almost three feet now. But he's a big guy. Look at that. He's a beast. Look at my phone. Look at this thing. That's a big old boy. Uh, Look at that. Almost as big as the cat next to him. Look at that. Look at that. It's a big boy. Don't do it, Tux. He'll eat you up for a snack. But see how big that guy's getting? I've already put him on a leash and a harness. Doesn't really like it too much, but I do. So he has to do it. There we go. Put him back inside. And you guys, Sarah. She's my little rescue. I don't like calling her rescue because she's really very pretty and it seems like she gets more more color every time she sheds. And she's supposed to be already two years old, so it's strange how she keeps on getting more and more coloration. But she's doing well. She's almost at 400 grams. I'm not sure if I'm gonna breed her still. I doubt I will because of the fact that she is she is considered a rescue because where she was staying wasn't the greatest conditions. Here's the mother to the babies. Is a uh, rainbow, sapphire red, so big, body and half shed. She's at 610 grams, looking like a beast. Long, 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 long. Look at that. Everybody got a bath today, so they're all fresh and clean. My little girl, Sun Kiss, is in brumation right now, so she's sleeping under the pillow. But there you can see her real quick. I don't want to disturb her too much. And I got my two little lovely Leatherback girls. Start off with Aurora. She's a Dunner sibling. Beautiful girl. She just finished getting her body shed. She's doing really well, gaining weight very great. She's at 310 grams. She'll probably be ready to breed by next season. And then I got Diamond. Diamond's a little stinker. She's been sleeping in and out. Kind of weird, like she seems like she does go into brumation, but then she comes out and eats a bunch and then goes back in there and hides out for another day or two. So it's kind of weird what she's doing. I don't know. I don't know if she's like trying to go into brumation or not, but she's looking really good too. She's already back up to 330, and uh, I'm going to be breeding her next year too, or probably like December or January, whenever she gets done with her little brumation attitude. She's going to be going with uh, Xerxes, my dunner. And then. Uh, is my buddy Ziggy. He's looking good. He's getting big still as always. I think he's already maxed out on his weight because he hasn't really like gotten any more girth or size or anything. He's just pretty much now at 550 grams or so. But he seems very, very happy with his place. Lot look at that thick, girthy tail. He's very healthy. Very big boy. And that's my colony, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more thing. This is a new incubator I just purchased. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it still because of the fact that uh, it doesn't have a cooling system on it. But it is a pretty big incubator. I'm probably going to end up selling it because of the fact that it 
doesn't do what it needed to do, and that's cooled down at the same time. It's a pretty, pretty high tech. It's got a glass front door to it to contain the heat inside there. It's got, you know, O2 sensors and uh, thermostat sensors. It needs a key to keep it running. But um, it's a pretty nice incubator. It's just I can't use it because of the fact that my house doesn't stay at 70 degrees all around. And it needs to be to keep the uh, outside temperature, to keep the inside temperature cool. So probably going to end up selling this thing. But this is my incubator that for some reason don't, that's not the correct temperature. The 85 is not correct. It's really 82 in there. That built-in thermostat is really not any good or anything. So, but um, these are my babies right now. These are the Dunner eggs. There's a quick video of them. They're all looking really big and healthy. Look at that. All white, big and plump. Getting ready. They're only uh, 22, 23 days in. So we got three weeks in and still got a lot more to go. <laughs> Between like 45 and 50 more days. I estimate at the rate that at the temperatures that I'm using, they're probably going to hatch at uh, between 70 and 80 days. Here's another another container full of them. These guys are enormous eggs. Look at these eggs. I mean, I'll show you a real quick comparison. My thumb is huge, <laughs> and this egg is about the same size as my thumb. And I mean, really, I'm telling you, my thumbs are huge. How about this? I'll even show you even better. Here's a, a good idea of what you're seeing. They're over an inch long. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. Well, that's about an inch. Yeah, inch and a half. This bad boy right there, inch and a half. Pretty big eggs. So the eggs, the baby should be just as big as the eggs. So we're all hoping for some really nice dunner super citruses, head trans, um, some are going to be head hypo, some of them are going to be full hypo, but all of them are going to be exciting. But again, thank you. Again guys, I hope you enjoy the video, and if you have any ideas or requests, feel free to ask and put them in the comments. Enjoy.